I started after uh, my parents sold the farm. We moved to Edmonton. This is 1953s. Eventually, Chester took over teaching dancing, and he thought it would be a great idea to form a bigger Ukrainian group. I also started in a dance group prior to Shumka being named as a group. He was starting to have a song from a friend of hers from Australia, and she mentioned the name of the song was Shumka. And of course, it meant whirlwind. But we didn't have to go any further than that. The name was picked, stuck, and this was in the summer, of, I believe, of 50, well, it has to be 59, yes. <laughs> I went on my first international tour in 2007. I was lucky enough to be chosen to be on the China-Ukraine tour of Cinderella, which is super exciting. So I started assisting with the school in 2006 and then started becoming an instructor later and I'm still teaching at the school. I think it's everybody's responsibility to help out and, you know, giving back to the organization. It's, a, it's very personal and I think it's a big responsibility too for us to help out in every which way we can. The choreography and the creativity rather than the preservation of culture tradition is what is interesting for me. How Shumka has distilled the values of the culture and informs the dance in an original way. The excellence of the organization in its performance and in the way it runs its business is something that uh, attracted me to be in the board. And uh, I guess I um, have an ambition for Shumka to develop a permanent endowment fund. And uh, this is the sort of thing that I think would be very appropriate for Shumka to do on the occasion of its 60th, is to launch an endowment fund and to give people an opportunity to uh, contribute to that fund and uh, secure Shumka's budget for decades into the future. You know, I started dancing about grade eight. I think it would have been 1958. And I danced until I finished high school, which would have been about 1962. And it was uh, just such an enjoyable period of my life. I, I sat on the board for uh, one term and uh, I very much enjoyed that. And I think I sat on the board at the right time because I have some real estate experience. Shumka was looking for a, a dance studio and so I was able to use my background to help them out with that. And uh, it just felt like it came together naturally. So I was in Shumka for about eight years, uh, recently retired in 2017 and it was actually probably one of the saddest days of my life. <laughs> Uh, but reflecting back on those eight years, you realize that it's, it's so much more than just your own dancing. Um, I got into the company thinking, I want to get better as a dancer, um, I need to work on things and I want to have these opportunities, but pretty soon I realized it's, it's a lot more than that. Um, you, you work with people and you meet people and you have these opportunities outside of the studio that not only challenge you, but they push you to become that better person. Hopefully I can kind of help energize some alumni to get involved, whether it's volunteering to take part in some of the activities they have leading up to it, or if it's contributing financially, that works too. So I think it's just really important um, for alumni to realize that this company is, is more than just a time period in your life that you danced. Um, it's a time to reflect and realize that this is, this is part of who you are.